straight ahead on CBS 47 at 11. It's a relatively new attraction at the Big Fresno Fair, but it's becoming one of the most popular. We'll meet the Valley athletes who are part of this event. That starts now. Local boxers take center stage tonight as the first weekend of the Big Fresno Fair wraps up. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Katherine Herr. Topping our news tonight, punches and jabs help local boxers improve their records during knockout night at the Big Fresno Fair. It's in its third year and already knockout night has become a favorite event for fairgoers and the boxers themselves. CBS 47's Tony Body is live at Chuck Chansey Pavilion and Tony, that area has uh, been packed with a lot of fun throughout the day. Well, it absolutely has, Catherine. In fact, the stage that you can see behind me was recently cleared after providing hours of musical entertainment. And just before that, it was a scene of a lot of blood, sweat, and cheers. With one right hook and one second to spare in the second round, Danielle Christensen had herself a knockout. That cut it a little close. <laughs> The Fresno woman, who's been boxing for four years, says her career recently hit a rough patch, and she desperately needed this win. My last fight got stopped because of a cut, and then I sprained my ankle in August, and I've had some questionable losses. And the knockout of Luz Gonzalez improves Christensen's record to two and three. She calls this victory the sweetest kind. It's best to win the way everybody knows for sure you won. In the night's main event, Fresno's Lauren Myers took down Everardo Lopez in the third round. It was ruled a TKO after Lopez suffered a cut above his eye. It was a clean punch, left hook, and um, I'll take it win any way I can get it. The 26-year-old who graduated from Central High fights four-round bouts. Not quite a 12-rounder like in Vegas, but a challenge nonetheless. Four round bout is, you gotta be in shape for it. It's not somebody any Joe off the street can go in and do, and if he does, he's not gonna last more than the first. Myers fought and won at the fair last year as well. Now known as the king of the last minute substitution, Myers jokingly says if he comes back next year, he's not booking it early. Last year I think it was four days, this one was literally one day, so next year might be the day of for all. <laughs> I'll take it, I guess. I mean, like I said, two for two, so. Can, can. Myers, who is now 6-2, and two, told me that he plans to jump to the next level and he's going to start training to fight some six-round bouts. Reporting live at the Big Fresno Fair, Tony Body, CBS 47, on your side. All right, thanks, Tony.